going to show you quick how to use one of these. <clears throat> this here is a piston pin puller. Uh, the particular brand of this tool is Too Fast Moto. Um, it's for just that. Removing the, the wrist pin on your pistons when you're going to uh, disassemble your, your engine. Um, this particular engine is the 500 motor out of the F5 we burned down a couple of weeks ago. Um, still trying to figure out exactly what happened. It's, it's just looking like it got hot and burned down so I don't know if maybe <clears throat> I had an air pocket in my cylinders and I was, wasn't circulating coolant fully through the motor not sure this one we had adapted a electric water pump and stuff on to but when I pulled the water pump cover the block off plate um, that cavity was bone dry which was to be expected if everything was working fine there so not 100% sure what happened long story short burnt down so we're going to take the pistons off but wanted to show you how to use this tool um, so it's just got a, a pin with a T-handle on the end that's threaded into the body. Um, that's right hand thread. Um, on the other end we have two, I'll call them nuts or stoppers that are left hand thread. So you turn them to the right to loosen them off, turn them to the left to tighten them down so that it's opposite of the rotation of the pin when you're going to pull the wrist pin out. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is is pull the pull the circlips off either end of the wrist pin. Call them a Jesus clip because uh, when you pull it out and it goes bing, you go, ah, Jesus. Get it? That's funny. Mostly you're going, ah, Jesus, because it's going to take you two hours to find the damn thing. Remove Jesus clip. Put your thumb over that so it doesn't go flying on you. Piston's got a slot for using a small screwdriver or something to pull them out. Push the wrist pin puller through. Thread the collar on, reverse thread, spin it down, hold the body counterclockwise till it snugs up, making sure you're lined up in just the wrist pin on the back. Snug it tight. Should start to move the wrist pin, then simply use the T-handle, pull it the rest of the way. Thread the collar off. Move your wrist pin. Much better method than uh, trying to find a pin the right size or a punch the right size or trying to hit on the edge of the wrist pin and using a hammer to beat the thing out. You risk wrecking your uh, your bearings on your 
uh, the bearings on your crank, on your rod, on the crankshaft um, by hammering back and forth on them. So anyway, new tool. I'll put a link to the tool in the description. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I don't think it was overly expensive. But pretty handy. Made that job a lot simpler and again a lot less uh, hazardous to the integrity of our crank and our bearings and those types of things so just a quick tip for you if you like my stuff please subscribe greatly appreciate it if you do if you don't like it thumbs down that's fine just means you watched it um, if you got questions ask them find me on Facebook Longton Motorsports uh, Instagram same name Reach out any way you can if you got questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to say, hey, thanks for watching.